as long as you could keep track of what you're drawing, you should be fine. But what what is a good practice is to keep safety copies. What that means is I worked on one thing, the original stuff. I kept the original stuff. If I want to deviate or iterate from it, I copy it and work on that. When I get to a certain point, I might copy that and work on some, some other options. Or this might turn into two options from the same point, right? So it's like a little root. It's like a family tree kind of thing. Um, it's like a development of design. So it might help you to keep records of everything. Soon you'll have so many options that it won't make sense. But at that point, you could just save just one of it and then start off with one single stuff and then start to deviate off of that. But anyway, this is why we're making several copies of the same thing. This is one version, this is another version. This one, what we're gonna do is to create or use this and create a grid work on this thing. So if you could go to the CAD Lab account, Go find H. Kuroki. Go to our section, which is ARC 121. And then go to the subtraction cube data. You'll find this PDF right here. That has magic numbers on it. <laughs> They're not really magic, but what we're going to try to do is to subtract from this uh, from this original volume but before we do that first step we're going to do is to organize this thing we're going to draw a grid on top of the box okay that's basically the 2d composition that you had really so if i take this thing and it is i'm going to draw a three foot grid on this 24 by 24 by 24 cube what i am going to do is to select a box right here if I just want to work on this thing right now, what I could do is to take everything else and type in hide. And then that's the only thing that shows up, or that's the only thing that's there. If I want to bring those back again, type in show. There are other things. Uh, visibility that has all that light bulbs on light bulbs off kind of thing but but yeah um, I'm just gonna hide these stuff right here so it doesn't get in the way okay so and I'm gonna work on this piece right here I want to draw a grid like this okay so I believe the command was dupe edge duplicate edges so if I say Duplicate edges, dupe ed, oops, I gotta go in the command prompt. Dupe ed. And there is a duplicate edge there. If I command enter, so if I if I have the help panel on, it'll help me explain what that does and where else I could find that command, right? So if I hit select everything right there and hit enter what it did was all the edges that are there it traced it for me so if i select this cube right now and then move it away 50 foot right uh negative 50 foot i'll choose negative 50 foot there's my solid piece and these are just lines is this a true cube? Is this a solid cube? No, they're just lines, right? You could tell because I am in the shaded mode and this is showing the shaded planes. This one, there's no shade on these planes, so which means it's just a line. That's where these views come in very handy. Okay, so why don't you take a minute to duplicate the edges, dupe edge.